we're back with an in-depth comparison. What's going on y'all? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, go ahead and click that subscribe button for me and ding the bell. Like I said in the intro, we have a comparison for you. Something new that I've started up this time. I think you've seen me throw both of these in the channel, maybe in challenges. So these are approach discs. Not necessarily the most popular ones, but I wanted to get them in the video for you. So it's a 4303 on the Entropy here. And I've got a breaker here. Um, DGA. Probably going to have to put the numbers somewhere right here because I don't remember what the numbers is on this and it's a uh, tour series so it doesn't have the info on it but a uh, big difference here this is more like a zone feel and this one is like a zone or something maybe a little bit fatter right here on the nose and it has a small bead so there is a difference in the feel of these discs here but I do want to bring them in because I've not thrown these much and a lot of the approach discs I usually throw on this channel are uh, like zone or like a yarn or something like that so could I bag a yarn but um we're gonna throw these and give you some comparisons to see which one I think would be most valuable for you or if there's a certain shop shape you're looking for because I think these are gonna fly slightly different than each other Let's get into it all right so we're gonna start things off with the breaker here I'm gonna go fan grip um, aim a hyzer just uh probably aim a hyzer uh coming in on the left side of the driveway over there let's say this doesn't feel terribly bad with the bead on it i don't usually like throwing stuff much with beads i put a beaded putter it's kind of weird but i don't generally throw much with beads this doesn't feel too bad i can feel the bead but all right let's see if we can get this Well, I definitely went left side of the driveway. Early release. Early release program. So now we're going to jump right into the Entropy. I'm pretty sure the way that acted, it acted extremely overstable, but I think that was from the fan grip and uh, just a bad throw in general. Uh, we're going to aim the Entropy out further right and hopefully bring it in closer to the driveway. Yep. Very uh, dependable disc is what it seems like. And I think the breaker is going to be uh, dependable too. I just feel like it's going to have a little bit more push to it. Uh, Entropy, I think, is going to have a whole lot more dive. It's going to want to get to the ground quicker. But both of those, uh, I have to say, feeling-wise, in hand on the fan grip, the Entropy does feel better to me. Um, breaker's not too bad, though. All right, here we are. We're gonna give it a couple of low power forehands here. Just aiming to get a hyzer release on these and to see how they uh, push. So I'm gonna go breaker first. I mean, it held the hyzer. Not a whole lot to say about that. It came out the hand pretty good. Uh, had a general push. Felt kind of like a zone flight-wise once it left the hand. Uh, just like I said, just a little bit different feel with that beat, but not bad. Now we'll go Entropy. All right, so the Entropy it is more overstable already, I can tell you. Uh, it's not a guess. I did throw the entropy further, but that's because I did throw it harder. But if you watch the flights, the uh, breaker was more of just a gliding hyzer the whole way. It did dive still, but it died. The entropy, I threw it harder and it went straight. Then it started to dump out. Like it goes straight, dump. So there is more dump to that entropy. They're pretty overstable. 
breaker is like a good maybe like a good beat or starting to get beat in zone feel wise on the throwing at this moment like i've thrown it some in a challenge and now and it has more of that gradual hyzer it's gonna handle torque and everything but it's not just beefy out the sky it's a solid disc i kind of like that so all right so now what i'm going to do i want to power grip these and i'm going to throw backhand and hyzers to see if i can get any um kind of get them to hold an anhyzer at all that's a that's a test of stability for me No, don't like that. I guess we'll throw that again here in a second. Let's go ahead and try the entropy. Slight nose up angle, but still worked. It held the ante just for a little bit. Flexed out at the end. I'm gonna go grab that breaker and throw it again before it gets dark. Okay, I would appreciate it if you'd pretend like you didn't see that first throw. Here we go. Just barely clipped a little limb sticking out right there. I threw it how I wanted to. Flew very similar, but it did go further than the entropy, even with hitting that uh, limb. So there it shows you it has stability, but a little bit more glide. So that is a little thing to keep in mind there, because I threw that pretty hard. A lot of uh, fairly good Anheuser angle. Held it just like the entropy did. Maybe fought out a little bit slower, but it had more glide. So it fought further. The entropy wanted to die. That was more so going forward on the Anheuser and fighting out. So I think that proves that the entropy has more stability, less glide than what the uh, breaker has. Let's see if we can get one more set of throws out of these. Well, we're quickly losing light. So we are gonna go the last two throws, four hands, I'm gonna give them four hand annies to end it off. Breaker first. Acted like it wasn't gonna fight out of that at first. I thought I was gonna dig it into the, the dirt. It kinda did flex out enough to get a somewhat of a pan. Let's try the entropy now. There you go. So there's another tell of the stability on those discs. Uh, the breaker, not near as much stability on it. So whenever I put it on the ante, it held it the whole way, barely panning. So then it got to the ground a little bit quicker. The entropy threw it a little bit harder because I know it's a more overstable. And it had more of a flex out to straight, which netted it a lot more distance. There you go. Neighbors. That's the video, folks. The breaker versus the entropy. End thoughts. What discs should you get? If I'm being honest, this is a big enough gap to where I think it's gonna come down to the shot shape you're looking for or the power you have. If you're looking for a dump, something that's reliably overstable all the time the entropy would be the disc for you or if you just don't like beads then i would pick between that the breaker i think it flies more like a bead in zone with a bead um not quite as overstable so when i say stuff like that if it's a lower arm speed a lower arm speed player that's looking for something that'll dump 
I sometimes lean towards these types of discs. So, um, depending on where you're at, my a depending on where you're at might be what you need to try but if you want a dump make sure it's gonna handle the headwind no matter what the entropy might be the disc for you lower arm speed players maybe try a breaker if you like beads let me know that's all we got till next time